The world of our streets can be random and unexpected. Let me explain. Just last year, we were in Amsterdam, talking with elected officials there about how they won the recent round of elections by promising to repurpose 10,000 curbside car parking spaces in the city. We even got to see one wonderful neighborhood where the city already has transformed hundreds of parking spaces to improve the city for people. It was pleasant, quiet and green, and most importantly, safe to bike and walk through. While filming, we imagined what it might be like for New York City to undertake such a thing. After all, looking at the population of both cities, reimagining 10,000 parking spaces in Amsterdam would be equivalent of about 100,000 in New York City. So even 10,000 car parking spots in New York City return to the people for outdoor dining, gardens, street seats, garbage pickup, bike racks, and a host of ideas for residents or neighborhood groups seemed not unreasonable. But even in a mostly progressive city, we figured it would be a real fight to maybe reach an achievable goal of just a few thousand as a benchmark. And then COVID hit us with devastating force, disabling the city for months. Businesses and particularly restaurants were hardest hit. When things finally started taking a turn for the better, street films helped rally the call for open streets and street dining with several videos. When the de Blasio administration finally approved outdoor dining for safety and to help give a chance to the restaurant industry to possibly survive, an amazing thing happened. We reached over 10,000 parking spaces being repurposed for outdoor dining without ever having it written in legislation or declared as a stated policy. And just look at the change it has brought our streets. Restaurants were given a lifeline. Owners came up with remarkably innovative parklets surrounded with color and green. Patrons ate outdoors, even on the hottest days of the summer in the sun and humidity. The restaurant industry that was once one of the biggest defenders of needing or requiring parking reversed course, realizing serving in the streets and sidewalks was more important and vital to them. Now Mayor de Blasio has declared the outdoor seating permanent, saying, I want us to really take this model and make it a part of the life of New York City for years and generations to come. There are more than 3 million on-street parking spaces throughout the five boroughs. So even transforming just 10,000 spaces per year from circulation only adds up to about a third of 1%. This should be a goal every year. It's something the city's next elected administration should seriously consider as one policy move to set real targets to make our city more livable, beautiful, fair, and regain its standing as the world's best city.